Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to take a look at Super Mario Bros. 2 released on the NES. Uh, just so you know, this is the fake Super Mario Bros. 2. It's the US version. It's basically the one that's a remake, well, a recover of Doki Doki Panic. Um, so it's not the typical Mario game, but it is still quite fun, just not as fun in my opinion. Um, you've got Mario, Luigi, Toad and Princess Peach to choose from. Uh, quite unique to the game because obviously you can choose four characters. They all have different skills and the like, so Mario's a bit of an all-rounder, Luigi can jump high, Peach can float, which I'll uh, show you here. As you can see though, right from the start, it's not your traditional Mario game. Jumping on heads doesn't kill enemies, you can pick them up. Um, top left of the screen, you've got those little red diamonds, they're your health meter. Uh, I'll basically explain all of this as I go along though. So starting off with a float, basically when you jump, you can keep hold of the, t the uh, jump button, which is 2 here. And uh, if you don't, then you don't float. If you do, then you float. So kill an enemy on this one. Either pick up an enemy or fruit and veg, which are those little roots earlier on. Don't miss, which uh, unfortunately I missed miserably there. And basically crack their heads together or crack their heads off the item. Kills them. So that's that. Those doors there, basically there's doors on the game. There's also later on doors that you'll have to find the keys for. And when you get the keys, enemies chase after you. So that's pretty cool. There's a... Uh, uh, as I was explaining about the uh, health later on, there's these mushrooms, which I'll uh, try and show you a little later on, where basically you get the giant mushrooms and the mushrooms increase your health. You get the mushrooms though, you have to find the hidden worlds. The hidden worlds, well, I see a hidden world, it's uh, a bit of a mirror world type thing. You collect those portions, throw it down, it creates a door, and then ta-da, you go through, you've got a mushroom, so that increases your health. The uh, vegetables become coins, which you use the coins later on at, at the end of every level to where... Uh, well, to get extra lives because you play a fruit machine. These cherries here that I'm collecting, every five of them, an invincibility star will pop up. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's these power blocks, which you can also kill enemies with. You get the power blocks, chuck them onto the ground, kills the enemies. So quite a lot to do. It's a, it's a very active game right from the get-go, really. Uh, health meter, when you go down to one heart, then you shrink, just like you'd expect on a Mario game, really. It's almost as if, like, two is a super mushroom and the likes. But uh, that's that, then. You can get health in uh, special ways, namely killing certain amounts of enemies. So there, I killed three enemies with a power block, a heart appears. I've collected five cherries, a star man appears. I've found a shell, I can throw the shell if I want to, and the shell will kill enemies. So there we go, that's, uh, that's pretty much all of that uh, done. So, going up here, there's also secret areas, which are pretty cool. I'll show you the first one in the game, because it's not really that hard to find yourself. You go through the door uh, anyway. You go here, you can't actually jump high enough, so what you have to do is you have to hold down, and you hold down for such a long time that you get a charge up, and then you're able to uh, jump, do a bit of a high jump. Then you find these bombs, you get the bombs, and time it basically so it will explode when they're going past the bricks. So there we go, oh, failed that miserably, but I still might be able to do it, it depends on if it's going to be awkward with a ladder. Yeah, I think it's going to be awkward to the ladder, so instead what I'll do, I'll actually get hit. That'll shrink us down. There we go. Jump off that enemy's head. And still not small enough, but now it's let us crouch. And now that I'm in here, keep holding left, well, down and left. And there we go. Been able to hit the jump button and slide in. So that's one of the first secrets. It's basically the type of thing you expect to do. And this takes you basically to the boss of the level. Because this game has uh, three levels per world and every level has a boss. Uh, two levels basically have this Birdo. And what you do is, as you can see here, you collect the eggs, throw the eggs off Birdo, do it three times, then this orb comes out and pick up the orb, go at the end of the level. However, every third world, you get a third level even, not third world, you get a proper boss. So, uh... You want to basically there's seven worlds overall and as I say there's three levels so quite a bit of deal here. This is the fruit machine I was explaining. I've only got two coins so I can only have two goals at it. Didn't get any extra lives this time. And then at the, end, at the beginning of every level it gives you a chance to choose who you want to be. So I'll be Luigi for this one just to show you a bit of the differences between the characters. So there we go. Luigi's got this crazy high jump. It's uh, a bit daft, a bit mental and... Also on this game, there we go, just concentrating a little bit, it allows you to commandeer flying carpets. So just like you would steal Lakitu's cloud, you've uh, been able to commandeer this magic carpet, which is pretty cool. 
At the end of every level, you go back to having two bits of energy, which uh, is a bit of a shame, but it's, it, uh, to be fair, it probably makes the game a little harder. And other than that, though, there's nothing else to say. I'll let you listen to the music for a little bit, though. There we go, then. Um, being a NES game, this one isn't perfect with the jumps and the likes, and obviously Luigi slides a lot more than Mario, so there I tried to stop myself sliding and I couldn't, so that's also one of the differences. But uh, it means that the jump isn't 100% perfect, it's not as good as you're going to expect it, but it doesn't really hinder gameplay too much. So there we go then, that's been the review, I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212 signing off.